Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. So we decided to do a Ruby 10, a deeper dive into the advanced features. Uh, so Michelle and I went over a bunch of different things and decided to pick a couple of different features to kind of highlight and go over. And we hope that you find these helpful. So if I just tap, I just literally just tap the screen and this pulls up my menu options here. So on the top left is going to be my main menu. And I can't remember if I left my help text on or not. So I'm gonna try it out now. And I'm going to press and hold on the settings menu there in the, the second one in from the right. And I do not have my um, help text on because if I were to tap on that and hold it, it would have come up for me. So I do not have that. And what I'm going to do is um, go into my settings. I'm gonna go into my middle one there from my globe. And then I'm going over to the right-hand side to the question one. And I'm going to make sure that my help text is checked off or checked you know, on. So to change your volume, uh, when you go to the main menu, so let me start that back there just to show. Up on the top left is our menu. That brings us to main menu. The bottom right is your speaker. And that's where you can set your sound settings. And now if I exit out of here, exit out of here, and if I even press and hold on my, oh, plus, let's see here, come back in, and it could be. Open device settings. So I pressed on the main menu button there, and I pressed on the cog, and you'll notice that it said open device settings. And I think the issue was user error that I wasn't pressing and holding long enough. So I'm going to press and hold on it. So that lets me know that I'm gonna open my device settings with that button. So then I tap on it once and it opens that up. So we're gonna go through how to turn on that function again. The middle button, I'm gonna press and hold. Set the language used for documents and for the device menus. So I'm gonna choose that by pressing it. And then I'm gonna press on that question mark button. at the bottom or top of the screen to describe the current focus. So by pressing that, that's where I have my help text to turn that on or off. Now in the menu, right now I'm gonna press the plus and the minus just to show you how I can increase the size of the text or decrease the size of the text of my menu options. So you'll notice there's your smallest font and you may be able to even hold or excuse me, even here, my haptic feedback. I don't know if you can hear that slight vibration when I'm pressing these buttons or not. Yep, that was a great example. I could hear it. Oh, cool, great. Yes, so there is, and you get kind of a, a louder one when you are at the maximum. So there's the maximum size of our, our help text. And I'm gonna go back. So I did have, uh, I believe it was George earlier that asked about the different languages in here. So I just wanna take a second to show you. Uh, in the middle here of the language menu, you've got, you've got these three buttons. So on the far left is the actual reading language. So we're set on English right now. I'm gonna decrease the size of that a little bit, but you'll notice you have, so there's our top of the list. So you've got multiple languages in there. And I'm just going to do a scroll through them. French, Spanish, Italian. And you've got many, many different languages. There's my people, Norsk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's my other people, Sumi. That's Finnish. Um, Sumi Kutu means Finland calling. Ah, well, there you go. So we've got... <laughs> Got you covered there. And then I think we're coming up to the very end here. And then you can also customize your voice. So you can select voices. And so you pick your language first. And then once you pick your language, you can come over to the voice to choose the language, or excuse me, the voice. And what that allows you to do is then decide, do you want, you know, male or female? 
And, you know, even within, I'm going to just scroll back to English. Within English, you then have different accents. So you've got your US uh, female, Ava, Daniel, you know, British accent, Karen, Australian. So you've got different options there. And, and again, that's based on if you can hear a higher tone better than a lower tone, um, you may choose the female voice. Then again, it's just based on tones and what you can hear properly. You know, one of the neat things uh, I found with languages working with the kids is interesting that, you know, again, kids might jump right into it and mess around with that, but they get, it gets, you know, old for them quickly. But I found um, over the years that sometimes they like adding an accent, especially if you add in some learning disabilities with the low vision and blindness aspect, um, you know, reading certain books, they might switch to a British voice because it just sounds, it's more interesting for them to hear to. Uh, the inflection is different on some of the words. So my thing is, hey, again, customize it, see what the user wants. If they like that and it's working for them, who are we to judge, right? Let them go with it. So I'm gonna go back to the live view here for a second. And again, we're just looking at a Reader's Digest text. And from the main screen, if I tap that screen, it's going to turn that on or off, whether or not I'm viewing the menu. And up on the top right, we have our edge effects that Michelle was talking about earlier. Um, and I apologize, by the way, everyone. I see some stuff come up in the chats, but I'm not going to read it yet. Um, I will get to that shortly. Michelle and I will. So you're turning on the edge effects. And we're toggling through on or off with those. If I press and hold on that, it's going to tell me. Tap for no improvements to be made to the edges and images. Long press to adjust edge thickness. So super long press gives me my help text. If I do a little bit of a longer yeah, or yeah. shorter text, I then am going to get where I can increase or decrease the thickness of that. So I'm going to zoom in. So we've got large text on the screen. I'm going to press and hold that for a brief second. And the haptic feedback is really helpful on that because it lets you know that, hey, you've just caused this to now go into this option. And you can see here where I can increase or decrease. So I'm just dragging my finger or I can press the plus and do it slowly and increase or decrease the edge effect. And really, it's gonna show you really nicely there on that red text. So there is minimal edge highlight and then we're moving up to more intense edge highlighting around those letters. And that's the top option there. If you I, know, I can really see this helping with food labels because there are just some terribly designed low contrast labels out there. And I always bring up the pasta Barilla boxes because they're that kind of French blue and then they've got red letters on them and black letters and there's really not much contrast to them. So having the ability to dial it up or down, that's fantastic. It is. And as you saw there, that it made a difference between those two different things. You know, we at the top here, I'm just going to go back to true color for a quick second. And to do that, I'm just pressing and holding the top left button, the contrast button for a couple of seconds. And we're back to true color. But now if I want to switch over, so you see the different color fonts, we've got some red down the bottom that's larger and then smaller black font up at the top. So now I'm gonna go into our high contrast white text on a black background. And this is where I really noticed that the uh, edge effects really pop. So on the top right, I'm gonna turn on my edge effects. And earlier I had chosen mine to be a pink color. So now you'll notice that this is highlighting that with a pink highlight around the text. If I press and hold that for a second, uh, you'll notice I'm at the minimum option. If I increase that, you'll notice now it really highlights that those letters. I mean, they're just popping right off the screen, right? It and it up. It takes away some of the white of the letter, the lighter portion of it, and really does manage the glare. So you'll find your sweet spot. The person will when they're using that that little uh, that little lever to increase it. And then I'm gonna press it again and you get just edge highlighting. So this was the one you talked about 
So this just gives you the outlining, not the highlighting really, but just more of an outline. So now it's taking away and you'll notice, I think you mentioned this helped cut down the glare when you were using the product, right? Oh, it was amazing because when things are really too much, um, you hold your your eyelids and eyes in a certain way, you're almost squinting. You get that kind of squinting look. And I noticed my eyes relaxed immediately when I took the center of the letter away. So I can see where this really manages, uh, you know, for someone who has glare issues, it's fantastic. And then you just toggle through that. So you toggle through those three different options. And I'm gonna to toggle through my color contrasts here briefly too. So here's on a white background with black text. And I look at that there. That really shows nicely, I think, just giving you that outline of that text. Kind of like a coloring book almost even. Um, and then we're going to just, if I want to get back to my true color, I can toggle through by pressing that contrast button. Or if I press and hold it for a little bit longer, it brings me right back to true color. There's our true color page right there. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.